What's going on, guys? We're back to another episode of Quintsville Sports. And today, we're on day four of the daily upload streak. And today, we're going to be doing three more conference tournaments. And these are some important ones. We have the West Coast Conference, the Missouri Valley, and the SoCon Southern Conference. And all three of these could have what we call bid thieves in them. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. So without further ado, let's get into these three conferences. First, the West Coast Conference, which has a bracket style that very much gives the higher seeds an advantage. The one and two seeds only need to win one game to get to the championship. Um, Loyola Marymount and San Diego, I think we'll take Loyola Marymount. San Francisco and Loyola Marymount will take San Francisco. Pacific and San Francisco, we're going to take San Francisco. San Francisco and Gonzaga, we're going to take Gonzaga, although San Francisco almost beat Gonzaga at home this year, but you don't play your tournament games at home. Well, some conferences do, but this conference doesn't. They play in Las Vegas, I believe. Portland, I think, has one conference win. We'll take Santa Clara. I'll take Pepperdine, who actually almost beat Arizona this year. We'll take Pepperdine over them. We'll take St. Mary's over Pepperdine. And then BYU, St. Mary's. This is a tough one, but I'm going to go BYU. And then the championship game between BYU and Gonzaga. Now, last year, we saw St. Mary's and Gonzaga. And St. Mary's needed to win to get into the NCAA tournament. They got that huge win, stole a bid from. I think it was NC State they ended up stealing a bid from. Uh, this year, both these teams, BYU, St. Mary's, and Gonzaga, are all going to make the tournament. So there's no pressure really for these teams, but Gonzaga, I bet you, is angry they lost last year. They're coming out for revenge. I say they beat BYU and win the West Coast Cup. It's kind of a safe pick there, but I mean, that's just what I think is going to happen. Next, we have the Missouri Valley, also known as Arch Madness, because they play in St. Louis. Get it? Get it? The Arch? It, 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 this is what they call it. Arch Madness. I, I like it. Drake and Illinois State will take Drake. Southern Illinois, Bradley. Bradley made the tournament last year. We'll take Bradley. And then we'll take the number one seed, Northern Iowa, who might even make the tournament, even if they, they were to lose the conference championship. We'll take them. Um, we'll take Bradley. They made the tournament last year. We'll take Indiana State over Missouri State. I'm going to take Valpo over Evansville. Evansville beat Kentucky earlier this year, but they had to fire their coach because of sexual allegations or se sexual assault allegations. Same thing. And then they haven't won a conference game this entire year. We'll take Valpo. We'll take Loyola Chicago over Valpo, which brings us to here. I'm going to take Northern Iowa over Bradley. I'm going to take Indiana State over Loyola Chicago. Indiana State beat Northern Iowa by like 50 when they played, but you don't play your tournament games at home. I'm going to take Northern Iowa to win this conference. But this conference, I'm telling you, is insane. Last year, it was Northern Iowa who was a seven seed. And Bradley, who was a six seed, or like they they ended up meeting. I don't know. It was insane how that ended up. But I'm taking Northern Iowa to win this conference. If Northern Iowa was like, I don't know. I feel like I'm not sure. Let's say they lose to Indiana State. They lose to Loyola Chicago. I'm not sure if they'll get a bid in the NCAA tournament. I still think they would. But Northern Iowa cannot play it safe like that. They're gonna have to go out and get this conference tournament championship, which I think they will end up getting. And lastly, we have the Southern Conference. Sanford and VMI, we'll take VMI. We'll take East Tennessee State over VMI. East Tennessee State's riding, they're like 26-4. and four. They're really good. We'll take Mercer over West Carolina. Duke fans know about Mercer. We'll take UNC Greensboro over, over UT Chattanooga. We'll take Wofford over the Citadel. We'll take Furman over Wofford. UNC, okay, so here's something you guys need to know. We'll take East Tennessee State over Mercer. Furman, UNC Greensboro, and East Tennessee State all are like, 24 and like six they're they're all these three teams are all really 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 good i'm gonna take unc greensboro over Furman. they made the tournament two years ago and they made and they made the championship game last year Furman, and i don't have as much experience i'm gonna take unc greensboro i eventually though think east tennessee state is gonna win this conference because here's the thing okay if i'm the selection committee you gotta take two of these teams Okay, that's, I know they won't. They're definitely not gonna. But let's say UNC Greensboro beats East Tennessee State or Furman beats East Tennessee State. I say you give you still give East Tennessee State a bid. That's just my opinion. But none of these teams could really play it safe. I really think East Tennessee State's the best team, and I really think that they're going to be a sleeper come March. Watch out for them. We'll see how they play in this tournament. We'll see if Furman or UNC Greensboro can maybe steal a bid. We'll see if they can get that done. But today we went over the Southern Conference. The Missouri Valley, or Arch Madness, and then the West Coast Conference. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, we'll do the Summit League and the Colonial Athletic Association. I'll see you guys next time.